you ever wonder what this is like they're not pimples but they're bumps on your face what's the cause of these things and how can you treat and prevent it hey guys welcome to my channel my name is matilda so today we're going to be diving deep into these bumps that we usually have on our faces especially our forehead we're going to be talking about how to fix it how to treat it what causes it how to prevent it and everything in between so if you've always been curious about these little bumps on your face and you're finding a way to treat it then keep on watching so these things that you see in your face these small bumps which you can see they are small pimples but not exactly pimple or acne these are called closed comedones when you see these things on your face there are different things that can actually cause it sometimes it's not exactly closed comedones sometimes it's not small bumps but today we're going to be focusing on closed comedones and these small bumps because sometimes it can be fungal acne but i'm not going to be diving deep into that today if you guys want a detailed video on fungal acne how to treat it and everything let me know in the comment section below so let's talk about small bumps right here i feel like everyone must have experienced this thing because like i personally have experienced the small bumps if you watch my previous videos i've talked about my struggle with textured skin and these small bumps so i'm going to be sharing with you guys everything i know about it and how you can solve yours too sometimes these close comedones can be early signs of pimples these bumps you see on your face sometimes it starts out as bumps small small bumps then later it resolves into a pimple on your face sometimes it doesn't even turn into a pimple it just stays there and that is what makes it even more annoying because you don't even know what the cause is so these close comedones or these small bumps are collections of dead skin cells which is keratin and oil which is also known as sebum on your skin so when there's a collection of these things the oil and the dead skin cells is accumulating into your skin it can cause these small bumps you see on your face resulting in clogged pores so that's why it's called closed comedones when you have open comedones that's where you have things like blackheads coming out from your face if you want a video on treating blackheads let me know in the comment section remember i talked about the clogged pores now what are the things that can cause you to have clogged pores the number one thing that can cause you to have clogged pores on your skin is not cleansing properly i don't know if i've done a video on cleansing because i feel like i need to do a video on that but if i've done it i'm gonna link it up here but if i haven't done it let me know in the comment section if that's something you want now people don't realize that there's an art to cleansing your face now your face is very delicate so there's a way you cleanse your face to cleanse it to to actually get rid of the dirt so when you're not cleansing your skin properly remember i said that the closed comedones are when you have accumulation of oil and um dead skin cells which can be dirt so not cleansing properly can cause that accumulation hence leading you to have these small bumps now when you're cleansing i'm just going to give you guys a little tip when you're cleansing you should be cleansing your skin for at least 60 seconds that's going to allow you to efficiently use your cleanser to its maximum don't just cleanse your face for three seconds you're not doing it well cleanse your skin for 60 seconds when you do that you do not necessarily have to use facial scrubs which i do not personally recommend you to do because it can cause inflammation inflammation can cause hyperpigmentation and a cascade of other actions apart from you cleansing your skin for 60 seconds you should avoid using makeup wipes alone yeah so makeup wipes are not going to properly cleanse your skin if you're going to be using makeup wipes which is even a bit aggressive on your skin but i digress because that's not that's not a video to talk about makeup wipes so if you're using makeup wipes maybe you're using it to clean your face that is not adequate enough for you to say that oh you've cleansed your skin you need to use a proper cleanser we're going to talk more about that you shouldn't be using only makeup wipes to cleanse your face and say oh you're done because first of all there are some suffer tanks and also like soapy things inside 
make up wipes that you shouldn't be leaving on your face throughout the day or throughout the night so when you use makeup wipes it shouldn't be the only thing you use you should wash it off that also applies to micellar water i see a lot of brands now trying to market micellar water as cleanser which is not completely true it cleanses your skin like it removes those dirt and like things on your face but you shouldn't use it alone as your soul cleanser it's just something you should use before your cleanser you need to wash off the micellar water from your face because it's something soapy at the end of the day and you don't want to leave soap on your face you need to properly cleanse it off let's go back to cleansing if you do makeup if you're rubbing sunscreen you should be more cautious of the way you cleanse your face and someone that doesn't do makeup or doesn't rub sunscreen or anything on your face because now you have applied sunscreen or you have applied makeup these things you need to get rid of them from your face before actually cleansing your actual face so if you have sunscreen or makeup on it's advisable that you do oil cleansing before your normal water-based cleanser so oil cleansing is maybe using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil to first remove the makeup or remove the sunscreen from your face because when it comes to sunscreen sunscreens are usually thick and you usually use a large amount of sunscreen on your face in the morning remember don't use sunscreen at night so if you're using such a huge amount of sunscreen in the morning and if you're diligent with it and you now go and be applying sunscreen after two or three hours interval throughout the day you should be so adamant about your cleansing step in your routine because you need to get rid of that sunscreen so using an oil cleanser or a cleansing balm is going to help you if you have vaseline at home it can double as a cleansing balm for you i personally use vaseline to take off my makeup because like it's soft and it really does the job at the end of the day if you want to use a cleansing balm all you just have to do is take your cleansing balm apply it on your face allow it to emulsify the face massage it into your skin then take a wet towel and clean it off your face then you can use your water-based cleanser your water-based cleanser is basically the type of cleanser you use your regular cleanser that you pour on your hands and you know use it to wash your face so your oil-based cleanser and your water-based cleanser you should be using it for 60 seconds if you want to get the best results i know i always gloss over the cleansing step i talk about the fact that you don't need to spend extra money on cleansers if you have these small bumps on your face you don't need to spend extra money on cleansers but you should pay special attention to your cleansing step in your routine it's so important it's so vital to your skincare routine because if you're applying skincare on top of dirty face or on top of a face that has leftover sunscreen leftover makeup you go apply your serum your moisturizer and the likes you're not going to get the best result because instead of your moisturizer and your serum to be working on your face they'll be working on the leftover makeup and sunscreen and i'm pretty sure you do not want that another thing that can cause this close comedones also known as small bumps is when you're trying out a new skincare product that is making you purge you know there are some skincare ingredients that can make you purge and the purging can be for a good thing skincare ingredients like retinol or some exfoliant it can make you purge which is kind of like it's um speeding up the turnover of your skin cells and it's just like getting rid of all the junk from your face that can happen and that can be a cause of close comedones and the small bumps on your face but it can also be that the skincare product you're using you're reacting to it and then it's now causing you to have these small bumps so there's so many reasons why you can have it which is going to determine how you're going to treat it moving forward now talk about the things that you shouldn't do it helps to prevent these small bumps on your face and it also helps to apart from preventing it can also help to mitigate it now let's talk about things that you should do in order to prevent it and also to mitigate it the first thing you need to be doing is exfoliating your skin exfoliating your skin is not compulsory it's not a must in your skincare routine i mean i don't want people to just go out and be exfoliating their skin unprovoked but 
if you're using a lot of skincare products and you know you've been able to curate your skincare routine and there's some skincare product that you should be using exfoliant with that's why you need to consult me to like give you a proper skincare routine book a skincare consultation with me in the description box just like we just have a talk and help you curate your skincare routine but that aside you should use it exfoliant if you want to avoid these close comedones because what do exfoliants do exfoliants help you to get rid of your dead skin cells and remember what i said earlier about what causes these small bumps when you have excess dead skin cells so obviously the solution is to get rid of those excess dead skin cells so you need to get the proper exfoliant for your skin type if it's salicylic acid, glycolic acid, whatever, I've talked about exfoliants in a video before, so check it out up here if you want to know the best exfoliant for your skin type and your skin condition. So using exfoliants would, would like do a lot of good for you if you're suffering with the small bumps because it's going to get rid of those excess dead skin cells that you do not want. So it's going to help to make your skin have that smooth like finish makes it look smooth and get rid of the texture boy oh boy having texture is not it's not it's 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 not always the best especially when you wear makeup because it, like it shows like it's so apparent to the eyes so like if you want to avoid this or you want to like fix it then get yourself an exfoliant and another thing you should be doing is also use moisturizer now don't go unpacking on moisturizers on your face because too much of moisturizer is not also good too much of everything is not good like i always say like no they do pass yourself you want to apply moisturizer on your face to like help with the texture on your face and also prevent your skin from being too dry because having extremely dry skin can also contribute to having these small bumps on your face but don't be applying too much moisturizer because too much moisturizer is also not good i mean the rules are endless if you want to talk about it but at this point we just gotta follow the rules so we can get the skin that we desire let's talk about some of the products you can use to treat the small bumps on your face because i feel like i'll be yapping and yapping and yapping telling you do this do that do that and some of you just want the product like just tell me the product that should use on my face to fix the small bumps all these things you're saying all this shall i it's like it's too much <laughs> just get straight to the point okay i will um, i will but first of all you gotta subscribe to my channel like you can be getting this free information from me and you're not subscribed to my channel you've watched one two three four videos of mine please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up what's at support your girl please ah huh? please okay <laughs> Okay, now what products can you use to treat these small bumps on your face? So you can use the La Roche Posay F Clark Care. I'm gonna leave the, the products in the description box and also put it on the screen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right. La Roche Posay F Clark Care Duo Salicylic Acid Cleanser. You can also use the Paranoxyl Clarifying Exfoliant, and you can also use retinol products like the urban skin rx retinol rapid repair and dark spot treatment that one is what i personally use if you guys haven't seen my skincare routine check it out right here i talked about this product there so i'm gonna list some other products on the screen right here but when you're trying to treat small bumps even if you don't find this product look out for products that have exfoliants maybe your cleansers or maybe your serum and also look out for retinol because retinol is going to help to increase your skin cell turnover and that will help to get rid of those dead skin cells i hope i have convinced you and not confused you on how to fix your small bumps i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Guys, if you want to see me outside of YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, all until that. Too cool.
thank you so much for watching leave your video request in the comment section below or if you want me to help you to purchase any of the skincare products please send me a message on instagram or check the link in my description box if you want a skincare consultation one-on-one both of us talking about everything skincare check the description box everything you need is always in the description box like trust me to always put you guys on like i'm here i'm your skincare bestie so you guys know that i'm always gonna come through right you know that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye